my pleasure today to invite one of our special guests to speak, Governor John Kitzhopper. Governor. on this measure, the Safe Roads Act would have never passed in the first place. So a huge thank you to Governor Kitzhopper for his work, not only for Safe Roads Act, but also for tuition equity and for for all of Oregon, Oregon's residents. So thank you, John Kitzhopper. Without further ado, I'd love to invite you to speak with us. Thank you. Thank you very much. It is uh, delightful to be with you today. Two years ago, we made a promise. And that was a promise to find common sense solutions that would benefit hundreds of thousands of residents who call this state their home. We began to deliver on that promise with a passage of tuition equity, a bill that gave opportunity to young Oregonians who have gone to school here, worked hard, got good grades, and graduated from high school. Yeah. Shortly thereafter, on May 1st, and with great pride, I stood with many of you on the steps of the Oregon Capitol, and there, after passing both chambers with large bipartisan majorities, we signed a common sense driver's card bill, a law that would ensure that every Oregonian has the simple ability to legally drive a car. Unfortunately, as you know, our celebration was short-lived, and this has now been placed on the ballot, and Oregonians will vote on ballot measure 88 three weeks from tomorrow. Now let me be clear, driver's cars for safer roads was a good idea then and it's a good idea now. <laughs> driver's cars for safer roads was the right thing to do then and it is the right thing to do now. And that's why I'm standing with you again today to give my full support the reasons are abundantly clear. My entire career has been based on one central belief, and that's the belief that at the end of the day, we all want the same things. No matter what your party registration, no matter where you live or what you do for a living, we all want to be able to meet our basic needs and those of our families. We want the opportunity to reach our full potential. We want hard work to be rewarded by a better life and we want to leave our kids better off than we were, both economically and environmentally. Now, there are two basic worldviews on how you make that happen. One is based on the notion that we're pretty much on our own, and we have to fend for ourselves. And if we're lucky, we make it, and if we're not lucky, we don't. And there's not a lot of room in that view for community. And it's a worldview that creates false choices, like the false choice between a healthy environment and a strong economy. The other view is based on the notion that we're all in this together. And there are actually things we can do as a community and as a society and as a state to lift us all up. And I mean all of us, regardless of race, income, gender, home language, or sexual orientation. I have thought to that view my entire career as an emergency room doctor, as a legislator, as a governor, and I fight for it every day as a father. And ballot measure 88 is an extension of that viewpoint, and it is part of our larger commitment to equity and opportunity for everyone who lives in this state. We know that driver's cars will bring benefits to people who are working in Oregon, paying taxes in Oregon, contributing to the Oregon economy, and are the backbone of some of our major industries. These are members of our community. These are our friends, our neighbors, our co-workers, and they are hard workers, and they deserve the right to be able to legally drive to and from work, to the store, the church, and to take their children to school. So, I ask you, do we want to be the kind of state that turns its back on its own community? No! Do we 
want to be the kind of state that tells a mother with a sick child that she has to drive illegally to take that child to the doctor? No! If this is a nation that truly believes in equi equity and opportunity, if we truly believe that we are all created equal, and that we all have certain rights, including life and liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, then surely the pursuit of happiness must include driving to work and taking care of our families. So here's what I ask you to do as we go out and talk to voters over the next three weeks. Remember that this ballot measure goes beyond public safety, and it does a lot more than simply increase the number of licenses and insured motorists on the highway. Voting yes on ballot measure May 88 helps mothers and fathers support their families. Voting yes on ballot measure 88 allows our residents to continue to contribute to our economy. Voting yes on ballot measure 88 brings us together as a community, makes our democracy stronger, and ensures that the opportunity to pursue the American dream is extended to every single person who lives in the state of Oregon. More than 236 years after our nation was founded, the promise of an equal opportunity to build a more prosperous life still rings true and still gives us hope. And it promises us if we work hard, we can better ourselves and our children. It promises us that we can leave them a better life. And it promises us an equal opportunity to succeed in this state as a part of our legacy, as a part of our nation, regardless of what language we speak at home. That's why we are here. That's why we are fighting for ballot measure 88. And I encourage all Oregonians to join me in supporting this important measure. Thank you very much.